Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all new 2022 Dodge Charger Scat Pack wide body. And with that being said, let's just get uh, right into the walk around. So let's go for this special edition charger. First off, under the hood, we have a Natchi Aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It's good for 485 horsepower and then 475 pound feet of torque. Uh, absolutely fantastic engine. And I do want to mention that this video was actually filmed by uh, Elise. So you guys will notice that the uh, video looks a little bit different because it was filmed with a GoPro rather than my normal uh, camera. But uh, shout out to Elise for helping out. You guys can see I, uh, this is funny. I love this in the video because I tried to shut the hood and I just did it like, I usually get it pretty good, but this time I just didn't do it right. And so it uh, didn't happen. But anyways, you can see here uh, with the orange accent and that's part of this Hemi orange package. And then you've got the C-shaped LED accent lights there for the front. And uh, especially against the metallic gray in this particular car, I think it looks really uh, good with the orange uh, accenting. I would do it on this or... Um, Maybe like uh, Destroyer Gray or something like that in terms of the uh, color choice that I would choose. And then you guys can see popping here to the side, notice 392 badges in orange. You got the brake caliper also finished in orange with the black wheel. And uh, definitely looks uh, cool from an aesthetic perspective. And then uh, the cool thing that Dodge did is they just put this little sticker here. So you guys can freeze a frame if you want to read all of the stuff that comes with the wide body and the scat pack and the powertrain information and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously the um, Hemi Orange uh, package as well. Uh, not a lot of manufacturers necessarily did that. They had like window stickers sometimes, but they didn't always like describe like what was so special about their package. And then you can see here with the interior, again, more of that orange accenting with the stitching and then on the dash with like the 392 logo. And it's notice on the seats as well with all of the stitching that's finished in Hemi Orange. Uh, and it's not like an obnoxious amount. Uh, that's the thing I like about this particular package is you have the orange accenting on certain parts, but it's not like it doesn't overtake the whole package. It just accents uh, the package itself. And then you guys will notice here uh, with the rear, you've got the giant uh, charger light bar. That's got a little scat pack logo there on the back. And then you guys can see the spoiler there. Uh, and then since this is a wide body, I didn't mention this earlier, uh, you're going to have 305 millimeter tires uh, front and rear as part of the wide body package. And also the parking sensors there in the rear as well. And then uh, you guys can see the Dodge logo up above. And uh, so that is another part of the wide body package. You do get the wider tires uh, with it, so you do get much better grip. I mean, just under 500 horsepower rear wheel drive front engine car, you're going to want quite a bit of tire. I love how the stripe continues all along the car, too. I think that looks really sharp as well. And then you can see here with the uh, gauge cluster section, um, notice that, again, you've got uh, some orange accenting throughout here in the interior. Uh, but also there's uh, some carbon fiber and you guys can kind of this viewpoint you'll be able to see a little bit uh, Better there. You can see the carbon fiber all around the gauge cluster and then the orange stitching like the steering wheel For example got the shifter for that eight-speed automatic and then all of our climate controls radio controls all that fun stuff uh, And then you've got the you know you connect 8.4 inch infotainment system They still won't put a 12 inch in the charger or the challenger I'm thinking they're waiting until they redo the cars and you can see the little charging port there in the center console section and again, notice with the seats, uh, you've got that orange stitching. Uh, no scat pack logo, though, there on the like headrest or anything like that. And uh, not in the center of the seat either, so I thought that's interesting. And then you can see the metal pedals there at the bottom. Definitely a nice appearance. Then you got all of our light controls. And then again, you can see there with the carbon fiber and the orange stitching as part of the Hemi orange package. Memory seats there on the door panel. And then you can see more orange stitching throughout the uh, door panel itself. Uh, here's another view on the passenger side, so you can kind of see that whole setup right there. Uh, again, I think it looks great, uh, especially in contrast to the darker colors. And then you can see, again, all over the dash. And also, uh, the Alcantara inserts on the seats definitely welcome. I definitely like that uh, feature. And I guess we're looking at a legroom here in the front, so you can <laughs> see how spacious uh, it is. And uh, yeah, so that is the Hemi Orange Charger. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this package, if it's something that you would uh, go for, or if you think it's a little bit too much and you'd rather just have everything, you know, all blacked out or all uh, dark from an aesthetic perspective.
So setting off here in the XF, and I think this might be the first time I reviewed this on the channel. Not sure. It's been quite some time since I've even reviewed a uh, Jaguar, but let's talk about how this car drives. So first off, from a ride quality perspective, smooth. It's actually very smooth. It's got all these little bumps. Yeah, it doesn't upset the car. So uh, from a luxury car perspective, it does a good job. Uh, seat comfort's also good as well. Uh, the seats are on the firmer side of things in terms of uh, just the cushioning and everything, but I don't mind that uh, whatsoever. I actually really like it. And the bolstering's nice. Uh, if you're a bigger person, you could definitely fit in these seats. And obviously having the massage seat function is definitely needed. We're gonna go from wave to, uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna keep it, we're just gonna keep it on wave. I think I like that. But we're gonna do intensity five, because you know, I've been having a stressful day today. Um, steering wheel feels great. Uh, steering's very light and uh, all the controls are very nice to the touch. Like all the controls here on the front of the steering wheel, paddle shifters feel nice. Uh, so they've nailed it uh, in terms of a uh, touch point from a touch point perspective. So I think that's a positive. Pop it over into the dynamic setting and wait for it. Dynamic mode confirmed. So we've got that uh, going for us. And uh, something else that I want to mention is, we already talked about visibility, but it's, it's actually good for a sedan. Um, I don't feel like I'm in a cave or anything like that, which I think is a positive. Ooh, definitely feel a difference in the suspension and dynamic setting. Like in that comfort setting, it's, it's like a luxury car. And this, uh, definitely stiff, definitely stiff. And that's where that's, um, you know, the infotainment system where you can customize with the drive modes. That's where that comes into play. So if we go to the dynamic and I go to the setup, steering, engine, gear shift, suspension, I can throw the suspension into comfort. And so now I've got the more comfortable suspension in the dynamic setting. I'm gonna pop it into the S mode, uh, which is it's kind of like another sport mode. Uh, so it's not officially manual mode. You actually have to press the paddle and that's what will pop you into manual mode. So make sure we're good here and see how she goes. It's actually quick. It's actually pretty quick. Sounds good for a four cylinder too. I'm gonna pop it. So hold down the plus paddle. Okay, pops back into automatic mode, still in S mode. Uh, but yeah, the eight speed automatic's great. There's a little bit of turbo lag that's kind of expected. Again, it's a two liter four cylinder. So lag again is expected with a car like this. Sorry, you got pulled over, buddy. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, so something's up here at the XF. Uh, exterior wise, like I said, with this like blackout package, 